like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Oceans all over the world are packed with various types of animals that come with different physical features and behaviors. While some of them are fierce and feared by most people, others are friendly and don't mind being friends with humans. Let's have a look at some of the friendliest sea animals. The intelligence and kindliness of animal number one will blow your mind, so stay tuned for that. Let's begin. Manta Ray if you think dolphins are the smartest creatures of the sea, then you probably haven't heard of this amazing sea animal. These aquatic giants have bigger brains than any other fish species, and with extensive sections of learning, problem solving, and communication. They're like the Asians of the ocean world. Manta rays can also have brains that are up to 10 times bigger than those found in whale sharks, despite the latter being the biggest fish underwater. Manta ray intelligence shows itself in a variety of ways. For one, manta rays are powerful, they love flying, and you can see whole schools jumping together at dawn and dusk. These creatures also get curious about humans. They interact and play with them on purpose. Plus, new research claims that giant manta rays can recognize their reflections. Some species such as great apes and bottlenose dolphins also have this rare ability. These strange-looking creatures aren't afraid to slide up close and say hi. Unlike stingrays, they don't have stingers. You don't want to touch them though, because their protective membranes on their bodies can fall off when they come into contact with humans. They also have to worry about us, not the other way around. So be kind and don't try to pet them. Whale Shark You must be thinking, how can a shark be friendly? Well, most of the animals are peaceful unless provoked. As for the whale shark, even though it's huge, it's not dangerous at all. The biggest risk they pose to humans is accidentally swatting one with their tail if they swim too close. Even if you were somehow sucked into the whale shark's five foot wide mouth, which is highly unlikely, you would not make it into the shark's belly. It just spit you out and scold you for being so reckless. Whale sharks are the ocean's largest fish and the sole members of the prehistoric Ritcodonte family. Scientists believe the whale shark species originated some 60 million years ago. These large fish are often considered by those who study them to be one of the ocean's friendliest giants due to their peaceful nature and diet of microscopic plankton. They don't even hurt other sea creatures, so humans are far from any danger. While the name whale shark might be a bit confusing, whale sharks are in fact sharks, not whales. Whale sharks bear many of the defining characteristics of sharks, including a cartilaginous skeleton, five to seven gill slits on the sides of their heads, and pectoral fins that are not fused to the head. This is actually the biggest fish in the water. Dolphins. The most popular of all marine species is the bottlenose dolphin. Not only are dolphins one of the most intelligent and happy creatures in the world, but they are also among the friendliest of humans. Dolphins are very curious animals and typically aren't afraid of human interaction. That kind of nature is the reason why they are always so eager to play with humans that jump into the water with them. It's also not unusual for one or two to approach swimmers or jet skiers in search of a playmate. In Panama City Beach, Florida, dolphins are known to hold a symbiotic relationship with humans. In the wild, these sleek swimmers can reach speeds of over 18 miles per hour. They surface often to breathe, doing so two or three times a minute. Bottlenose dolphins travel in social groups and communicate with each other by complex systems of squeaks and whistles. Pods of dolphins follow fishing boats in anticipation of a good spot to hunt or hang out at the pier waiting to be fed with fishing boat scraps. In return, many businesses rely on these aquatic locals for personal encounters with dolphins, sightseeing tours, boat tours, and snorkeling excursions. Careful though, because they're a rowdy bunch and have been known to dry hump anything that moves. Sea Lion if there is one animal that you expected to see on this list, it would be the sea lion. Also known as dogs of the sea, this creature is everything you need in a pet. They love going on rides, and because there aren't any cars in the sea, they have to settle for something like a boat or kayak. If you ever see a sea lion, you will find out how much attention it craves. It might not look like it, but they are very high maintenance. Marine researchers in the United States have concluded that these creatures are so intelligent, they should be given their own marine mammal program. 
Through this program, the Marines give sea lions training on ships and harbor defense, mine detection, and equipment recovery. But if you're still not convinced that they're not smart, experts have observed that sea lions can understand basic syntax and commands. They're able to do so when trainers use artificial sign language to teach them tricks and other tasks. That is something even dogs have a problem with. Sea otters. Between their cute fur-covered body and the adorable face, the sea otter is one of the friendliest creatures living in the ocean. Similar to humpback whales, the sea otter was hunted for hundreds of years, and it wasn't until the 20th century that sea otters saw a massive spike in their population. After Zeus started bringing sea otters in for exhibits, the public fell in love with these friendly animals. Sea otters are one of the smallest marine mammals, measuring about 4 feet long. While they are descendants of the weasel family, they are the heaviest members, weighing in from 50 to 100 pounds. As with some sea creatures, sea otters are intelligent. Many otters love to dine on clams and other shelled animals of the ocean. Since they do not have the strength to break the shells, many otters will store rocks under their arms as they hunt to help break the shells open. How cool is that? The best way to experience sea otters is in the zoo or other aquariums. Many zoos offer dedicated exhibits that allow guests to experience firsthand the friendly sea otter. These exhibits usually include allowing the guests to feed the sea otter and participate in a training session alongside a professional animal trainer. A handful of zoos even offer guests the ability to swim with the sea otters for a short period, giving them the opportunity to play with these friendly creatures. Manatee There is a big chance you don't know about this sea creature, and if you do, congrats! You just won 10 points. Manatees are often called gentle giants, and it's easy to see why. They are slow-moving, peaceful creatures that tend to flock towards human activity in search of warmth. Underwater discharge pipes are super hot hangout spots for the manatee world. The species can also be pretty friendly. This gentle giant species are known to present a kind demeanor and is an omnivore dining primarily on seagrass and other marine plant life. Manatees are affectionately named sea cows for their large size, slow moving action, and friendly disposition. While swimming with manatees is considered a rewarding experience, it is best not to bother or crowd a wandering manatee or manatee aggregation. Not only are they easily frightened, but they also tend to heavily defecate where they spend time. Also, manatees are a threatened species. Back in 2014, Florida, where manatee is in abundance, lost a record 16% of its manatee population in a red tide algae bloom. So it is best to leave them alone. Beluga Whale up next on our list, we have everyone's favorite, the beluga whale. These massive white whales are beautiful creatures that are found in the Arctic and subarctic ocean temperatures. Due to their nature to travel in groups of 10 or more, these whales make for majestic animals that are friendly to all humans. Measuring over 18 feet long and over 3,000 pounds, the beluga whale is a majestic creature thanks to its high-pitched tweets. The beluga whale is sometimes referred to as the sea canary. The beluga whale also has a unique ability to mimic human speech through its high-pitched sounds. In the wild, the cry of a beluga whale has even been compared to the shouting of children. The first beluga whale was brought into captivity in 1861, marking the first time a whale was kept in captivity. It is best to experience beluga whales from a distance to their large size. One of the most well-known places to view beluga whales is on the northern Hudson Bay coastline. From from June to mid-September, this bay becomes home to over 50,000 beluga whales. Local tourist companies offer small boats that can be taken out to the bay to view the whales up close. These whales are pretty peaceful most of the time, but it's best to enjoy their sight from a little distance. Penguin Finally, we have the animal that literally has zero, zero. Penguins are the cutest and most innocent creatures out there, but don't let that deceive you from thinking that they're dumb. Beneath its charm lies remarkable intelligence. Penguins hunt cooperatively. This task enables them to process details quickly and predict where fish are going, as well as how they can capture them. Most penguins also have exceptional memories. When they find themselves far away from their colonies, they find their way back through lakes, hills, and sounds of the colony. Adult king penguins can recognize and call their mates, even in noisy colonies. 
If you think that's all, you'd be surprised to know that at least three penguin species can block unwanted noise and focus on necessary sounds, just like humans. They are also great with humans, as there hasn't been any reported mishap between them. Penguins think of humans as cute beings and don't mind them being close. A family in Japan caught a penguin in a net, then brought it back for rehabilitation. But this penguin decided he didn't want to return underwater and stayed with the family that rescued him. Every day, he would put on his penguin backpack and walk down to the local fish market where he sampled the fresh catch and bring home some dinner. Isn't that just mind-blowing? Which one of these animals did you like the most? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.